So what are Biden's chances for winning the Democratic nomination, and especially for becoming president? His transits are actually quite good because you see Jupiter currently in the sign of his ascendant, which is always a, a very powerful, very helpful alignment. And then you also see Uranus conjoining his moon, which uh, is, is another boost of, of energy. And, and then we have uh, the Neptune in Pisces is in trine to his Scorpio planets. And Neptune is a really important planet from the perspective of popularity. In fact, uh, Trump was elected on Neptune trine in 2016. Neptune was trining his Mercury. And at the moment, uh, Neptune is hovering around 16, 17, 18 Pisces, so it's in the middle of these planets, and it moves toward a trine to Mercury as we go toward the election. And uh, Mercury is a really important planet because it is the ruler of his 10th house, his zenith and his midheaven. Now keep in mind, the way I draw charts, it is shown as an equal house uh, chart, uh, but I actually use whole sign when I'm reading it. So all of these planets here are actually in the 12th sign. The Ascendant is Sagittarius, the 10th is Virgo, the 9th is Leo, the 8th is Cancer. I like drawing it this way because it highlights the degrees of the Ascendant, and those degrees tend to be the most potent point of each of the houses when divided in this way. Now, what is interesting about uh, Biden's chart is that in addition to helpful transits, you see an effect that is quite common when people are elected, when presidents are elected, because typically they need uh, good supporting energies while they're running for office. Uh, but then once they're in office, it usually gets more difficult. And here we see Trump with Jupiter and his ascendant. And now as he goes toward the election, what's going to happen is there'll be a point when Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are in this region here, basically opposing his, his Jupiter, but at the same time sextiling the Scorpio planets. It's almost impossible to achieve anything without something challenging, and so the opposition of these planets to Jupiter uh, is, is what it is for, for Joe, and uh, it is an important aspect in that Jupiter is the ruler of his ascendant ruler of Sagittarius, but it's a very strong Jupiter. Jupiter was uh, eight days, 7.9 days past its uh, previous station, whereupon it went retrograde. So this planet is moving very slowly at its birth and is therefore very powerful. It's al also in Cancer, which is the sign of its exaltation. And notice that it's trying, Mercury trying the Sun, trying Venus. Very, very strong Jupiter. So it can withstand an attack by these planets. And in fact, the planets in those positions may act as more of a stimulant because from there they support his Scorpio planets. So I see his transits as a very, very good setup for the run-up to the election. However, once, if he did get elected president, by then you see Saturn and Jupiter, they actually will conjoin in early Aquarius, very early Aquarius, and then Saturn makes its tour of Aquarius uh, during what would be the first uh, two and a half, three years of his presidency. That makes perfect sense because once you're president, then the pressure begins and Saturn then would be squaring the sign where his Scorpio planets are, which makes perfect sense. Now, if we turn to his uh, progressions, we see uh, uh, supporting energy or supporting factors uh, that are very interesting as well. So please uh, watch that video uh, for that part of the uh, analysis.